Hey gorgeous CEOs, welcome back to another episode of the Witsmack Show and today I want to discuss if you've been selling consistently, if you've been posting consistently like five times per week and yet your consistent sales aren't coming in, what's the gap in your content, what you're missing out on and why that is happening because I know that this is the biggest thing that most people struggle with because 99% of the time my DMs and the replies to my stories go something like this. Vidhi, I've been consistently sharing content and selling and yet not seeing any sales. Vidhi, I've been talking about my offer for the past two weeks and still no results to show. Or people would be like, Vidhi, I doubt if I can make any sales anymore because I haven't made any since the past two months. What am I doing wrong? And to which my answer always is, it is your content. Content, content, content. It always is your content. The thing is, it doesn't matter if you're posting consistently. It doesn't matter if you're posting, if you're selling consistently as well, because consistency is not a strategy. And if it was so easy to just be like talking about your offer consistently and then pitching your offer, asking for the sale, if it was so easy to do it every single day, everyone would be a millionaire, but that is not the case. And the reason is that your content is not speaking to either the right person or that it's not building the desire. There's some kind of gap. And what are those gaps is what I'm going to talk about in this podcast episode. So what you do need is that your content speaks to the right ideal fit dream client and helps you sell out your offer that your messaging is speaking to them and it's speaking to the high-end clients it's showing the transformation instead of speaking about the process and there are so many things that goes into this let's talk about each one one by one okay so here's what your content and your messaging might be missing first of all number one you're speaking to 10 different people who you can help instead of speaking to the one person who is perfect for your offer and the one that you want to work with. So for example, you might be speaking to beginners in your niche, someone who has just entered the industry, they are not even committed to, and I've been speaking about this for a long time, you know me. <laughs> um, you've heard this multiple times from me talking about this, that you shouldn't be speaking to beginners if you're charging high ticket, if you're, because these people are not committed. They are not com committed even to bring results. They are just like, I'm just here to check out whether or not this works. If they are in the industry, if they have just entered the industry, they are not the right fit people because they are not even ready to work harder. They are not even ready to commit to make this thing happen in the inside your niche which is why they are not even ready to invest, which means that if you speak to these people, they are going to have a very long buyer's journey until they are like ready to buy from you, which is why you get a lot of can't afford DMs, right? And this is the reason why these people would be like, it would take you a long, a long, long time to get any sales but also there will be a lot of people who hop off and who are out of the niche in just a few weeks because they are they were not even committed right so this is why it's gonna be so much harder for you to sell because you're charging hard ticket one and you are speaking to the wrong person too right another thing is another mistake that you might be making over here is that you might be using very vague or generic language so that it speaks to more people because you're trying to speak to more people at a time whereas when you do this it actually speaks to no one you want to speak to that one person so think of and i have been speaking about this so many times like think of what are the micro goals and their micro problems that they're going through in their daily life and speak about those inside your headlines right so this is the content that i posted today something like here's why your content hasn't brought in consistent sales even though you're posting five times per week now this is so specific exactly to what they are going through right now what they are thinking of right now in the back end of their mind 
right? You want to speak about this kind of thing instead of just speaking about things that are so vague and generic about being like 12 content prompts for you, <laughs> right? In my niche, this is the kind of content that I see, which is very generic, very vague. And it's good if you want to reach the masses, but if you want to make sales instead, and it depends on the goal that you have right now. If your goal currently is to increase your visibility, very good, go on, do that, right? Post generic language, use generic language and create content around that. But if you are if you are in the season of like making sales, I want to make sales, right? You want to use specific language, specific to what they are going through right now, where they can be like, I am going to self-select myself and I'm like, yes, that is me. She's speaking exactly to me. I want to read this, right? That is how your headlines and that is how your content should be around, right? So every single time, even when you are mapping out your content ideas, it should be about exactly about this person. It should exactly revolve around their micro goals and micro problems that they are going through in their daily life, right? Okay, that is point one. Number two, you are not showcasing how much your clients are happy with you. Because this is what happens when I see a lot of people sharing social proof. I just see something like how my client went from X to Y, which is very common. And I'm not saying there's something wrong with it, but there are so many different ways in which you can share the same social proof. Even if you have just 20 social proof or like just 10 social proofs, let's say, and you have screenshots of 10 social proofs and you just have that, you can literally turn that into 20 or even 30 content ideas. Just one social proof can be turned into like four different content ideas, okay? Let me give you a few examples of content ideas that you can share instead of just being like, how my client went from X to Y, which is so common, right? So ideas can be something like, why my client told me something that they praised about you for every incident or every screenshot that you have? right why my client said something like this instead of being like how my client went from this to this something like why my client said something like this why she praised about this and then actually bragging about yourself right that is such a good content idea another one that you can do is why my clients get results like these and then you share all of the screenshots and then explain why right what are the things that you do inside this becomes a bts offer content which i teach you inside the copy to cash academy bts offer content looks something like you are literally sharing what it looks like to be inside my offer right so you are literally going to share like what do we do inside this is something that i shared today as well what do we do inside the three things that we do inside copy to cash academy that brings these kinds of results that helps my clients hit their highest cash months inside the container. And that is where I'm sharing, like these are the three shifts that we make. These are the five things that we do inside. Like you want to share what it looks like to be inside. What are the things that you do inside there that brings these kinds of results, right? Another thing that you can do, another content idea is it's not a big deal to reach massive transformation, for example inside offer here's why so for example i can be like it's not a big deal to reach five thousand dollars within the first week or within the first few weeks of joining copy to cash academy here's why right and that is like speaking exactly about the transformation instead of speaking about anything else instead of speaking about the process because this is the biggest mistake that i see a lot of people making where they are literally trying to sell the process or the methodology that they teach inside the offer instead of actually speaking about the transformation because people do not move people are not activated by the process or the method they are activated by seeing that this is the transformation i'm going to get i'm going to be able to get out of your offer right that is what you want to be speaking about another last content idea that i'm gonna throw at you over here is something like my one-on-one -on -one client recently sent me this and then you share the screenshot here's the story behind it right and it's just like and one of the content ideas that i shared which almost like got me a lot of new clients as well was like when my client literally sent me a dm 
where she said, I don't want you to review my content anymore. And she had just been three weeks inside the container, inside working with me. Because, and there was a bigger story behind it. It was just not like she wasn't happy because it sounds like it, she wasn't happy, but the thing was, and it, it created a kind of a shock, shocking statement, but the thing was that she got so good at her content because I was reviewing all of the content that she was, and that is why she actually joined the program, joined uh, for, for working with me, that she wanted me to review all of her content. And I did that, and in just three weeks, she was like, I just know every single thing, <laughs> okay? I don't want you to review my content anymore, and I'm so happy with it. And she was literally, in just three weeks, she was like going from beginner to a pro level, because every single thing that I told her, the next content was next level. The next content after that was next level. So she, she was literally up leveling through each and every review that I was doing, which is why it was so faster for her. Not It doesn't happen with every client because the speed at which every client learns is also different. But this is what happened with this client. And I shared the whole story behind what happened behind the scenes with this. And this is like literally showing what's happening behind the scenes inside your containers, how it looks like to work with you, how it looks like to work within the program and all of those things, right? So that is number two. So firstly, speaking about speaking to just one person who you want to work with, who is perfect for your offer, instead of speaking to 10 different of people, number two is showcasing how much your clients are happy working with you instead of just sharing the results right how my client went from x to x to y number three is you're not sharing your personal opinions in the fear that others might disagree or the fear that you might be called out for a mistake because you don't see yourself as an authority because you think that your opinions don't matter you need someone else's backup of being like okay that high level person who you follow that high level person is agreeing to what my opinion was so once she said that now i feel okay with saying this publicly even though you believed in that opinion ages before that right you need to literally trust yourself trust your gut trust your own opinions and believe that you are an authority because if you've been in this niche for a while if you've been in your niche for a while and you've had your own opinions and you've had your own experimentations, you've come up with your own opinions because of those experimentations, because of the learnings, the lessons that you've had throughout these months or years that you've been in your business, that, that is enough proof for yourself that you need to speak about your own opinions based on your own experimentations. And it's totally fine it's literally like we <laughs> i've been speaking about this to my friends and family as well and we were talking about this and she my my friend was like i want to post something and i was like just post something that because she is such a such an opinionated person <laughs> i'm literally going off the tangent over here but she is such an opinionated person and i was like you need to post more of your opinions and she was like i don't want people to not agree with me and what I said was, it's impossible whether or not you post something, it's impossible to not have people who wouldn't agree with you. If you really want to put something out there strong enough, you would obviously have people who wouldn't agree with you and you would create your own tribe of people who do agree with you and repel the people who don't agree with you. And that is how you create your tribe. It's just impossible that you won't that it's impossible that you would be able to get everyone to agree with you right and that was an aha moment for her right so what i want to tell you is that lose the fear of not being agreeing by other people in your industry or by other industry leaders because you are an authority okay so the content that you can share content ideas for you for this one can look like why i say something is bullshit, right so maybe like why i say 
I'll just throw in something. Why I say launching is bullshit, right? And then I can actually give my reasons behind it. But anything that you believe in, you need to talk about that. Or you can share something like, if you're using X strategy, no wonder you don't have results, right? Literally like being so bold about what you believe in. Why I cringe when someone says X? Things I no longer agree with in this industry when it comes to X and why you shouldn't do, right? So this literally gives you a lot of the ideas around speaking about your own opinions because literally I want you to be bold about your opinions. I want you to speak about those boldly out there publicly without worrying about if there's anyone out there who would call you out because it's impossible that it's not going to happen. So anyways, you want to just go out and do it. You don't need anyone's backup. Be your own backup. You don't need anyone backing you up by saying some, by agreeing to you. You don't need an industry leaders, an industry leader backing you up with their own <laughs> statements. You, you need to be your own backup, right? Okay, so number four that I want to share is you're not helping them see themselves inside your offer through your content. How can you do that is look at your content, look at the nine last posts that you've created. Does your content build a desire to join your offer? Can people tell what it would be like to be inside your offer even when they haven't joined yet? So a few content ideas to get your brain started towards this is something like if you came to me with problem A and problem B and wanting X transformation, here's what we would focus on step by step. And then you literally share the step by steps. Don't be afraid to share your um, actual steps that you would help them inside the program because something, let me blow your mind over here, something that you are sharing in your program that takes you seven hours to explain all of that is literally impossible to share in a 10 slide post in a 10 slide carousel post or in a reel it's impossible so don't be afraid to share away there's nothing that you can share and people would be like yeah i got everything and i don't want you because literally people would try to implement it and they would be like what am i missing i'm still not seeing results like they would get some quick wins but they would be like i still want more right that is how you get them to want more and they would be like yes i would need to join the offer because that's where the whole thing is another content idea for you for this uh for this one is how would offer help you if you were at stage a and wanted to reach x right so how would my offer x help you if you were at any x stage and wanted to reach some transformation or you can also share something like what we do inside offer to bring results like these and then you share the screenshots so those are the gaps inside your content that is why even though you think that i'm consistently selling i'm consistently sharing my offer i'm consistently sharing content and yet people aren't joining these are the gaps and if you fill those gaps in i promise you you'd start seeing results you'd start getting inquiries if you haven't started getting inquiries you'd start getting inquiries from the right people if you haven't been getting inquiries from the right people if you've been hearing can't afford i promise you people wouldn't say that anymore if you're if you start speaking to the right person as we discussed in the Point number one. So my question to you is, have you given people enough information to work with that they trust and believe that you can help? Have you answered all of the questions on their mind? If your answer is a yes, then you'll get clients who are real close to doing business with you, jump inside the DMs to chat and start working with you. But if you're not sure that you do, you need to think about what you have that will help to pre-sell your ideal clients on your offer. What do you need to do to inspire confidence that you are the right person for your ideal clients? Does the content that you are sharing pre-sell your offer for you? Because it will save you a lot, you and your ideal clients, a lot of time when you think through on these questions.
just like it's saved this person bring a sale immediately after sharing this one copy that we created together she literally sent me something like that copy we created already brought in a client at the price that i wanted to charge all in bold and she was so happy with that another one of my client who made two sales in a day at double the price she was never able to make sales at what she sent me was copy to cash academy has changed my business today i made two one thousand eight hundred dollar sales and before that people weren't even buying my thousand dollar program all thanks to you so that is what's possible for you as well inside the copy to cash academy and once you start working on all of these things that we have discussed today you will be able to bring in more of the right people in that don't care about the price that you are charging but they just want to work with you because of you so if this feels like a yes and something that you're already looking out for you need to be inside copy to cash academy if you're needing more support on your journey and want to sell out your high ticket offers without being like going on sales calls every every single day and not having any one of those sign up with you or having hour long or day long conversations inside the dms convincing people why this is high ticket or having to do lead generation because your content is not doing the job you need to be inside the copy to cash academy so the link is in the show notes to check out the copy to cash academy and if you have any questions about the program you can dm me on instagram at the rate with smack social to learn more about that and you can ask me any of any, any of the questions i'm totally reachable and i don't pitch inside the dms <laughs> i don't create leads lead generation i don't do that so i would love for you to join the copy to cash academy and thank you so much for joining today I'll see you next time.